Iran is one of the countries hardest hit by the coronavirus. It has reported nearly 20,000 confirmed cases of COVID-19 and nearly 1,500 deaths. A study from Iran's Sharif University predicts as many as 3.5 million deaths in the country unless health guidance is followed. The warning mirrors a UK study that also predicts millions of fatalities inside the US and around the world. But there is a very big difference. Unlike the US, South Korea, China, and many other countries, Iran's ability to respond to their virus is limited, not just because of the mismanagement of the Iranian government, but also because it is under massive U.S. sanctions. U.S. sanctions prevent Iran from buying crucial medicine and equipment at a time when it needs it most. According to a Human Rights Watch report from last October, the U.S.'s maximum pressure campaign has already drastically limited Iran's ability to finance imports of humanitarian goods. Sanctions also prevent international institutions from helping the Iranian people. When the International Monetary Fund announced new loans to help countries deal with the pandemic, Iran immediately applied for a $5 billion loan. But the Trump administration has signaled it will veto the request and prevent the IMF from aiding Iran. To make matters worse, the U.S. has imposed new sanctions this very week, in the midst of the corona pandemic. These new listings today by the Department of Commerce reaffirm the importance of demanding a full and honest accountability. This is inhumane. It also runs counter to U.S. interests. Sanctions have failed to achieve a single one of President Donald Trump's objectives with Iran on the nuclear issue or beyond. But sanctions have made Iran more vulnerable to the pandemic. Viruses do not recognize borders, politics, or international disputes. If they can fester anywhere, they can spread everywhere. The coronavirus needs to be eradicated everywhere. It is a threat to everyone including to the U.S., if not out of a sense of humanity, then out of self-interest alone. The U.S. should immediately lift these sanctions and enable the Iranians to fight the virus.